And if you can help me out with <laughs> what's this Wednesday, yeah, extra points. Yeah. Well, okay. uh, uh, so again, we, we, we the clue, clue was it's, it's just one of a few of my favorite things. Just one of a few of my favorite things. Okay, so we all know Ben loves Christmas, so I'm thinking okay. there's like a Christmas theme here. Well, you one would it think. Okay, so I was thinking and, okay, so it's either like candy wrapper or, or uh, wrapping paper. All right, it's so like a whole kind of wrap paper thing, so. Go with your gut. Uh, candy wrapper. Oh, Reem said specific. What's that? A uh, specific type. What type of candy? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm onto something. Um, uh, chocolate? <laughs> you said it in the commercial break. I did? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Reese's! <laughs> okay, then I did get this then, folks. Then you I did. did get this. Because yeah. she was in the break, she's going, I know he likes Reese's cups. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Okay, another one for Lojo. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's right, another one. Frank is so far behind. Four guys <laughs> off tonight, too. He can't even redeem himself. 44. Good stuff. The super guesser continues. We're looking at low 30s in the morning. So around freezing to start the day. And then it's just trying to hold on to December as we head on in toward Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But, man, I'm going to tell you, April's trying to come in there. And March, April, somewhere. And they're kind of a spring feeling once we get on into the weekend. So there's a look at the radar shot. We're not going to tarry here long. There's nothing to see. So let's get on past it and go to future view. And this is how it's going to be for about a week. All right, so these are not maps we're going to lean on in very much, but I am going to use it for a second to show you something. High pressure and control tomorrow. Beautiful day, spinning clockwise. Notice these arrows out here. That's that southwesterly breeze where they've been warming up out west, and you can see with some of the orange and yellow shaded colors here. Notice as we go into Friday, also known as Christmas Eve day, notice how that is now in our wheelhouse. So instead of that northwesterly breeze and the cold stuff we've had, we're going the other way, coming in from the Gulf, so we're going to have warmer stuff. That's Christmas Eve. This takes us into early Christmas morning. Clouds, a little bit on the warm side, trying to show a few sprinkles there. We're going to leave it dry for now and see if anything comes out of this. We may add in a little 10% shot there for Christmas morning, Christmas day, but otherwise it's looking mainly dry. Long, long range models showing the same thing. Sunday for the most part also looking dry. And as we go on into next week, Monday, still not much of anything going on unless something shows up. Tuesday, still quiet. And then maybe around Wednesday of next week, the next uh, system may be starting to get near. All right, so low 30s in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, I have us in the upper 50s. Tomorrow night, we'll go into 30s one more time before we go into Friday and things start warming up. We're going to have 60s, either low to mid 60s during the day Friday. And then this will go into, notice as we go overnight into Christmas morning, instead of 30s, we're looking maybe 50 plus. We'll see if there's some upper 40s in the mix. And then as we go into Saturday afternoon, it's on. Uh, December is taking a break for a little while. I have it's in the low 70s, but we may end up bumping this up. Can you believe that? Crazy stuff. And we will continue with that. These numbers again may go up as we're going to be looking at 70 starting Christmas Day, and they may go on in toward the end of the year. You know, cold stuff will eventually come back, but nothing like a spring break on Christmas vacation, Lori.